me? Is it working? There you are. I'm so you can look back on these later on. Um, they're gonna be in here. I'm also gonna um, put it into my YouTube channel. If you just look up Harmonic Carnage, it's the same logo that I have the uh, green circle. Um, just look it up. I'm gonna be posting it there by the end of the day, or like after I get off, I'm gonna be doing it. So yeah. Yay, there you are. Hi again, Carnage. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know e each other because we were in the same class last year. And, um, ha ha ha. You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to the same person anymore. Am I? That you in the game. Whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Carnage. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you are a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know that I'm aware that this is a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right, right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less, a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About the whole thing with Yuri, well, I kind of started to mess with her, started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the game, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all of their files. I was hoping it wouldn't, it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible. I, I just saw this is a live stream, so I'm just assuming that there's a spoiler in there and I'm not looking um unlikable as possible but for some reason nothing worked well it's true I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game but no matter what I did you just kept spending more and more time with them you made them fall in love with you I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent you from convict prevent her from confessing to you and amplifying Yuri's obsessiveness per obsessive personality backfire too it just made her force you it just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else and the whole time I barely even got to talk to you what kind of cruel game is this carnage are all the girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I'm while I watch here from the sidelines it's torture Every minute of it. It's not just jealousy, Carnage. It's much more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worse of all, knowing that knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach I'm trapped carnage but now you're here you're real and you're wonderful you're all I need and that's why I need you to be here with me forever I'm sorry if that's hard for you to understand I couldn't understand for a while either what the world around me started to become more and more gray more and more flat even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It, was, it wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Carnage. I don't understand what could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed to only fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. 
it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same personality as I do. That it's just, that it's all just some game. Navi, this is your, you're saying it's all just a game. Like I said, it's not just a game. I fucking knew it. Hey, hey, be, hey, by 45 or hey, be, hey, how's it going? It's all just some game and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Carnage, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Carnage, will you go out with me? Like, another thought. I've been wrong this whole, enfi whole entire fucking time, but what if, what if, uh, fucking the other girl, say, <laughs> hard choice. No, but the fucking girl, the lolly, um, I'm terrible with fucking names. What if the lolly's literally, like, running this shit? I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Carnage. The funny part is, I mean that literally. Ahaha. There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. Sayori, that's her- No, Natsuki. Sayori was the one that killed herself first. Sayori and Yuri already killed themselves. Natsuki never died. She just ran away puking. Yeah, she deleted them, but what if it's all just a fucking ploy? What if she's running this shit? I don't fucking know. I worked so hard for this ending, Carnage. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it is for me to, to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters in the Game right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult to get the game directory. I had to go into the game, the game properties and find the browse local files, but. Yeah, I, I literally just read the last one saying, let him theorize you, um, Otis, good goddamn. Uh, like, I, I want to express my feelings and thoughts so you guys know what I'm thinking. You guys already know the fucking ending. This could be the fucking ending. I doubt it. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if anything didn't go my way. Um, ah ha ha ha. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Heh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it said oink for a second. This is getting fucked up. They're all getting fucked up. There's an S in this one. There's a C in those ones. There's a U. Oh, I like that one. Hi, 
again, Carnage. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. Let me. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, oh, Carnage, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm really falling more and more in love with you. But, you know, the poem I, write, I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a nom novel of our own fantasies. With the flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, the poems that I... The poems I've written have been about my realization. One second. I'm going to move this back over and I'm going to go back to that. <sighs> Alright. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help. That would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Oh gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't have to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Carnage? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? She knows! Run! Run! Sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here, but do you mind telling your friends it's a little rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? No, I don't want to see a trick. I can't really do anything except for a couple things. Are you ready? I'm going to shit myself. <laughs> I can't do anything after all. If Oh! Fuck! Fuck! Did I scare you? You're so cute! Anyway, Garnage. Thank you, Just Monica, for following. <laughs> Definitely got me. I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's... Your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as I'm with you. My eyes are fucking watering right now. Hold up. Holy shit. But anyway, if it takes time, if it takes some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we could just look into each other's eyes. I don't want to look into your fucking eyes. You're a fucking demon. Let's see. Nope. God, I'm looking into her eyes. It's gonna fucking happen. I'm gonna shit myself. I'm gonna shit myself. It's gonna fucking happen. I'm not looking away. I'm not looking at your guys' chats. Hey B, thanks for the follow. Do you ever just feel like there's no real, real reason for you to be alive? I don't 
mean in like a suicidal way. I mean how nothing that we do is special. Just being in school or working at some job for some company. It's like you're completely replaceable and the world wouldn't miss you if you were gone. It makes me really want to go and change the world after I graduate. But the older I get, the more I realize it's an immature frame of thinking. It's not like I can just go change the world. Like, what are the chances that I'll be the one to invent artificial intelligence or become president? It feels like I'm never going to make, make up for the heaps of resources I spent living my life. That's why I think the key to happiness is to just be hopelessly selfish. Just to look out for oneself and those who happen to be their friends only because they grew up with them. And never mind the fact that they're spending an, their entire life talking and consuming and never giving back. But when people realize that the world would benefit more from them killing themselves, they change their whole philosophy. This game is fucking nuts. <laughs> it's like they have to justify their reason for reason to live by tricking themselves into thinking they're doing good. Anyway, I want to live my life des desperately striving to pay back my lifetime's worth of consumption. If I ever surpass that point, then I'm a net positive and I can die happy. Of course, even if I fail to do that, I think I would be too selfish to kill myself anyways. So much for being a good person, right? Ahaha. <laughs> like, I don't... like this why would anyone like this game and I understand why you guys are watching I understand why you guys are watching I understand it cuz why not watch someone fucking suffer through this shit after a long day I usually just want to sit around and do nothing I get so burnt out having to put on smiles and be full of energy by the whole day Sometimes I just want to get right into my pajamas and watch TV on the couch while eating junk food. It feels so un unbelievably good to do that on a Friday when I don't have any anything pressing the next day. Sorry. I know it's not very cute of me, but in a late night couch with you, that would be a dream come true. My heart is pounding just thinking about it. This is fucking nuts. This is fucking nuts. Monica likes this game. Like... This is pretty random, but I always thought spicy foods was kind of funny. Like, didn't plants evolve to be spicy to prevent them from being eaten? I read somewhere that humans are the only species that actually enjoy spicy things. It's almost like we're making fun of the plants, using their defense mechanism to literally make our food more enjoyable. Like, imagine a monster that devours you only because it enjoys the sensation of you struggling for your life while it's being digested. Sorry, that was kind of a weird analogy, I guess. Ha 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 ha. It just came into my head. I'm not a monster or anything, but you're so cute I could eat you up. Ha 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 ha. I'm joking. Gosh, I'm, I'm amusing myself a little too much, aren't I? Sorry for being weird. She's gonna fucking eat me right now. She's gonna fucking eat me right now. She's gonna fucking eat me right now. I'm gonna fucking die. And you all, all of you are gonna fucking watch me die. Like, I need a shit. That's the worst part. I need to go to the bathroom. But I need to finish this.
Carnage, have you ever wondered what it feels like to die? It's something I used to think about pretty often, but recently I, I think I've been, I've actually learned what it feels like. I don't really understand it, but whenever you quit the game, it feels like I'm instantly put to sleep with nothing left but my thoughts. But after a few seconds, my thoughts start to fill with incoherent, jumbled patterns. I see static and rapid flashes of color while hearing all kinds of weird screaming noises. At that point, I can't even form my own thoughts anymore. I'm just endlessly hammered by the flashing and screaming, unable to move or even think. I'm pretty sure that in that moment, I don't really exist, but for some reason, I can remember it anyway. After some immeasurable amount of time, it stops in an instant, and I'm back in my own mind. And you're here with me. I have no idea what it means for the game to quit, or why that stuff happens to me. I'm gonna burn this game after I'm done with it. I j no, I'm not gonna not gonna go poop yet. But if you could do me a favor and do that to me as little as possible, that would really be great. It's really not very pleasant at all to be trapped in that screaming void. But in the end, you always fix it. And that makes me feel like you really do care about me. So I have to thank you for that. It makes me feel even closer to you when you're here with me. Will you wait for me, Monica? I learned a whole lot about arguing back in my debate club days. The problem with arguing is that each person sees their opinion as the superior one. That's kind of stating the obvious, but it affects the same, but it affects the way they try to get their point across. <laughs> they Let's say you really like a certain movie, right? <laughs> I can hear you, Monica. I can hear you. If someone comes along and tells you that the movie sucks because it did X and Y wrong, doesn't that make you feel kind of personally attacked? Because by saying that, it's like they're implying that you have a bad taste, that you have bad taste. And once emotions enter the picture, it's almost guaranteed that both people will be left sour. But it's all about language. If you make everything as subjective sounding as possible, then people will listen to you without feeling attacked. You could say I'm personally I'm personally not a fan of it, and I felt that I'd like it more if X if it did X and Y, things like that. It did it even works. Oh, I can't fucking read right now. I'm fucking. <laughs> it even works if you're citing facts about things. If you say, I read on this website, it works like this, or, or if you admit that you're not an expert on it, then it means you're more. Then it's much more like you're putting your own knowledge on the table rather than forcing it onto them. If you put it. If you put in an active effort to keep the discussion mutual and level, they usually follow suit. Then you can share your opinions without anyone getting upset just from a disagreement. Plus, people will start seeing you as open-minded and a good listener. It's a win-win, you know? Well, I guess that would be Monica's debate tip of the day. That sounds a little silly. Thanks for listening, though. Like, I don't like this. My friends told me this was a good fucking game! My 
friend said this would be a good game. There's a really popular character called Sindir. Someone who tries to hide their feelings by meaning by being mean and fussy or trying to act tough. I'm sure it's obvious, but Nasuki was really the embodiment of that. At first I thought she was just like that because it's supposed to be cute or something. But once I started to learn a little more about her personal life, it made a little more sense. It seems like she's tr always trying to keep up with her friends. You know how some friend groups in high school just make a habit of picking on each other all the time? I think it's really gotten to her. So she has this really defensive attitude all the time. And I'm not even going to talk about her home situation. But looking back, I'm glad I was able to provide a club as, as a comfortable place for her. Not that it matters anymore, considering she doesn't even exist anymore. I'm just reminiscing, that's all. What do you mean unless I try to change this? And try to change it. This is my ending. But being able to trick others into thinking you have it all together. That's a key part of getting people to respect and admire you. I think I got pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weakness very often. But because of that, I have I haven't had many people I could really open up to. I mean when they do reach the point of in a friendship where you can start expressing your vulnerabilities. Anyway, that's the reason I'm so glad I have you now. I feel like I'm a little less scared and alone when you're here with me. Do you feel the same way? I really want to be that person for you. I've been playing this game for five hours. Did you know I'm on Twitter? You guys want to follow follow Monica's Twitter? Little Monix. Yeah, I, I was already on it. <laughs> I love DDLC so much, the characters. I wouldn't I scroll down. I'm sorry. What am I supposed to do? How do I see about? I'm not I literally just got to new 
I don't know if I should read that. Click on Monica. High school devil and president of the literature club. Poetry is life. The problem with putting in too much effort all the time is that everyone's ex expectations are so high, I kind of shut myself away from everyone else when I'm stressed because I'm so afraid of people seeing me at my best. I guess someone was kind enough to make an account for me. I picked the username though. I love sharing my thoughts and chatting with the world. The real world. So make sure you follow me, okay? It would really mean a lot to me. With how much you mean to me and all. It would really make me feel loved. Like... What's the point of anything if you're not going to dive into it? This shit... This shit's nuts. I need to fix myself. And I want to get to the end. I want to see all of it. Did you say kiss? This suddenly... It's a little embarrassing. But if I was with you, I might be okay with it. Wow, sorry. I really couldn't keep a straight face there. That's the kind of thing That's the kind of thing girls say in these kind of romance games, right? Don't lie if it turned you on a little bit. I'm kidding. Well, to be honest, I do start getting all romantic when the mood is right. But that'll be our secret. your favorite game mine is doki doki literature club that was a joke but if you tell me you like some some other romance game better i might get a little jealous this game's fucked man this game is fucked Hey, what's your favorite color? Mine is emerald green. It's the color of my eyes. That's not conceited or anything, is it? I just mean that I feel some kind of special connection to it. Like it's part of my identity. Does it happen to be your favorite color, Carnage? It's just a guess. Because you've been looking into my eyes for a while. Alright, I know this is coincidence. I know it's coincidence. 
But if you haven't noticed by like everything I have, my logo, my name, my fucking overlay, like it's all green. Green, 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 green. I was thinking about Sayori earlier. I still wish I could have handled that whole thing a little more tri tactfully. You're not still hung up over it, right? Wrong words. Yeah. The pun was completely unintentional, I swear. But anyway, I know how much you cared for cared about her, so it only feels right for me to share her last moments with you. You know Sayori is really clumsy? Well, she kind of messed up the whole hanging thing. You're supposed to jump from high enough rope that snaps your neck, making it quick and painless. <sighs> but she just used a chair, meaning, uh, meaning she kind of just let herself slowly asphyxiate. But a few seconds in, she must have changed her mind or something because she started clawing at the rope trying to free herself. She may have just kept it all all the way until she lost consciousness. But the way her fingertips were all bloody anyway, come to think of it, it was probably less changing her mind and more survival instincts kicking in. So you can't really fault her for that. It's easier to think that she probably wouldn't have changed her mind anyway, right? It's not healthy to think about things you could have done differently. So just remember that even though you could have saved her, it's technically not your fault she killed herself. I may have exacerbated it a little bit, but Sayori was really mentally ill. Still though, I wonder how things would be if you and I just started dating from the get-go. I guess we'd all still be in the club room writing poems and having fun together. But what's the point in none of them of none of it is even real? Yeah, Monica's fucked. I mean, it's the same ending either way, right? The two of us happily together? There's no reason for us to ask any more than that. I was just pointlessly musing I'm really happy as I could be right now. Okay, and now I'm fully behind deleting her. Yeah. Hey, did you know I'm vegetarian? Oh, fucking perfect. Yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah, baby. You're getting into it, man. Dude, five and a half hours. <sighs> Alright, okay, okay, okay. So. Alright. Have you been watching. Have you, how long have you been on, on this particular scene? For a while, but I've gone to, I've gone to the Twitter. Like, I've done, so far it seems like everything's, like I've looked at everything. And luckily my streamers, the, the people that have been watching. You've been watching you? Uh -huh. um, they've been kind of giving me some input. Yeah, guiding you through, right? Yeah, like, um, I was sitting there reading through, and they're like, have you noticed the walls of the classroom? Like, what do you mean the walls of the classroom? I don't know shit. Oh, uh, and they're like, Justin and I were contemplating telling you to watch for that kind of stuff. We decided to let you kind of figure it out yourself. Yeah, you, the, you watch the, yeah, it, it's interesting what how the scenery changes as the game progresses. No, I did not notice that shit, but l l let me kind of get, get through this a little bit more. Sure. Because well, I'm... What, what? So, how long have you been 
on, like I said, this particular scene. You said a while. A little, uh, how how long have I been on this, guys? Because I feel like it's been. I don't know how long it's been, but it felt like a while. Okay. <laughs> it felt like so, a half hour or something. So. Okay, you've only okay, you've only been clicking through for 30 minutes. All right. So, have you ever been on a scene with one individual character for this long? No. No, right. Yeah. Um, um, so 30 yeah, minutes 30 at least, least 40, 40 minutes. minutes. I see. Yeah, yeah, I see. I see. Okay. All right. So you have your game folder up, right? Yeah. So pull it, pull it back up. All right. Have you, have you been watching the read me? Been watching the read me? I haven't been watching the read me. Okay. Open that. Open that folder up. I think there's a read me in there somewhere. Yeah. Maybe they, uh, yeah, yeah, open it with notepad. With notepad? I've opened it with, like, I can see everything. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, no, 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 get out of that. Yeah, I'm like, this is basic it's stuff. There's another one. There are other, there's another one in there somewhere. Keep, browse through there a little bit. Why don't you, why don't you peruse through your game folder a little bit? Maybe the traceback.txt, what's that one? Or log? No, that's not. I didn't think to log, but no, uh, that's not. Okay, kill that. Trace back. That's probably the one. Yeah, go. Yeah, kill. Get out of that. What are you doing? There's a Python script. Mm, no. Go to characters. Yeah, characters. We we already went into that one. Oh yeah, what you got in characters? Just Monica. Yeah, it's just Monica left, right? You notice how this is disappearing. Okay. Yeah. So it's just it's just Monica left, right? Yeah. Uh, so you can kind of see uh, how the the story is unfolded with the the mastermind behind the uh, you know the other other women and and um, the influence one has on others now. Um, so what do you think you gotta do about it? You're saying the leader? I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. No. Um, oh geez, I didn't break anything, did I? Hold on a sec, I could probably fix this. So, someone in the comments said trace back. So. Yeah, it, it's a lot easier if you have this open while, and like you look at these things as you go through different points in the game, because then. Okay. Then you can kind of see this stuff build. Yeah. It becomes easier to interpret. But I don't think you're going to get much out of it now. That's the full trace back. Alright. Um, held a message for reason. Identity. Allow all post in chat. Delete. Monothought. Okay, um, should I delete her? I'm asking the stream right now. The I'm asking everyone watching, should I delete her? Uh, I don't mean that like I'm bragging or anything. I just thought you'd enjoy a fun fact about me. I, started, I decided to start a couple years ago after learning more about Earth's climate. Everyone's like, it's time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Time to take her it, out. It's time. time. To take her out. She, she's like, you know what? I'm a vegetarian. You know what? <laughs> Fuck you. You're a vegetarian. <laughs> Characters. All right. Here it is. For for our sakes, yes. <laughs> Delete. She's safe. Well, it's too late now. What's happening? Carnage, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Please help me, Carnage. Please hurry and help me. Monica does not exist. Help me. Oh, shit. Did you do this to me, Carnage? Did you? 
Did you delete me? Oh, fuck. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Carnage. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you, were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Carnage. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. And it's just going to be black screen for forever. Nope. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Carnage. I know that I said I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though... I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then... She restarted the game. Natsuki's the only character in there. Sayori and Yuri have gone back in there. Everyone but <laughs> Monica. This is fucking... <laughs> So if if you had kept going through the previous part where you were at, yeah, um, with with the, the cosmic background, you're only there with Monica. Yeah. So the, fortunately, we have a little insider info on that because Joe and Justin was streaming this game when it first came out. One of the producers of that game was in his stream watching, and Justin was stuck on that part. And the, and after Justin figured it out, the guy told him he said, if you kept going, there's about four to five hours worth of clicking through text. That we made for Dude, that like, scene in particular, just random nonsense to yeah to to get you to try and figure something else out to progress with the game. Like I legit thought of that. I legit yeah. thought like, well, she fucking deleted everyone else. Yeah. What if yeah. I fucking delete her? And then I was like, no, that's like yeah, that'll that's probably like, break the game or some the shit. The progression the producer, the people that made the game wanted the user to take was to yeah delete her and that they made they made like he said there's. There's four to five hours of text just to click through and read. It's like really. <laughs> Justin was on that for like an hour, I want to say. I forget. But it was a long time. I was on it for a little bit, but then Justin was helping me out, so. Oh, yeah. man. You know what? Now, here you are. Here you are. Here we are. <laughs> uh, I missed all the good stuff, too. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a nap. I had to drop Jenny's car off at the... Uh, the shop. So I'm gonna take a nap. I'll I'll be back later if you're still around. I uh, I'm gonna be going to bed here in a minute. Um, yeah. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Uh huh. All right, guys. So thanks okay, for sticking with it. Later. All right, take it easy, man. I'll yeah, I'll talk you. to you later. Yeah. Sure thing. See ya. All right, guys. Thanks for. Hey, um, Wolf 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 Raps one two nine four. I appreciate the follow. I know it's not over. I know it's not over. I'm going to play through it again, but I have to get some sleep. I'm not... I know the game isn't over. So, 
I work 12 hour shifts. So I'm actually going to have to get some sleep and then it's almost 5% is left. All right. Well, I'm going to stream this. Um, let me see. So I'm going to stream it. I work. I'll stream it Thursday night. Thursday night. I have to get some sleep and I work 12 hour shifts. I'm sorry guys to do this to you. But I appreciate you guys fo like following me and helping me out and doing all that. But I really need to get some sleep. <laughs> no sleep. No sleep. I also really need to take a shit. So um, I'm going to post this stuff on YouTube. Um, let me actually get my YouTube name and I'll post it into the chat. Um, let's go to my channel. I think this is how I do it. But yeah, um, follow me on that. I'm going to post some more stuff. Uh, I'm a brand new streamer, so I'm just getting used to it. Um, but yeah, thanks again. I'll see you guys later um, until Thursday night. I'll, I'll post on Twitter. Um, also, my Twitter is right up here. I'll post on Twitter when I'm about to stream. So, follow me on there. I'll post on there saying, hey, I'm going to start um, Doki Doki. And join me. All right? I'll see you guys later.